just remembered the Christmas I got my first CD Walkman. Um, so I don't know how old I was. I would have been like nine or ten. And uh, I remember my dad got got me this little discman, and we put the CD in, and you could see it spinning really fast. And um, they thought it would spin like um, like a record player. So when we <laughs> <laughs> when we put the CD in for the first time, um, yeah, it's just my dad and my uncle. He's like, oh, these Italians sort of looking at it, going, "Ah, oh, no, it's broken. It's broken. It's not working." <laughs> yeah. Hi, just a quick little check-in. Um, so I just got back from work, and um, but it reminded me that I hadn't done any filming today because I've been in work. There's nothing to film, so um, I have to go out and teach yoga in a in a little while so I'm just popping in briefly I thought I'd give you a little update on reading um, I've started Thorny Hold by Mary Stewart with Bert and also um, Sarah from Your True Shelf and I think maybe Charlotte from Time Mom Tries to Read is going to join us as well um, so I've just started that we're just going to read four chapters a day so I need to read a little bit of that later and then the other book that I've um, been reading but I keep forgetting to mention because it's audio it's like an Oprah Winfrey one and I don't know what it's called so Bert's gonna have to put a picture in for you um and I think it's probably best read as an audio because it's kind of a collection of quotes I think as far as I can tell from lots of different people so I've just just listened to Goldie Horn talking about some stuff Cheryl Strayed's in there um lots of people I can't remember at the moment but kind of mixture of like famous people actors writers and kind of spiritual people as well um, and then Oprah kind of almost like gives an introduction um, at the beginning of each chapter. So I'm really enjoying that one. It's really short, so it's like two hours long, which I feel isn't as much as I can cope with with audio, and I've got about half an hour left. Um, yeah, so that's my little update. Um, see you soon. Monday, um, which means we have started our buddy read of Fawny Hold, which I say Fawny Hold because I don't know if that's just like a I'm from like the south or whether it's like an Italian thing. Sean claims it's Fawny Hold. Is that right, Sean? Fawny Hold. Fawny Hold. You you pronounce it as if it starts with an F. Like a child, I. I think it's a south of England. Yeah, Sarah, way. you probably you probably are with me on this. <laughs> so we're buddy reading this with Sarah of um, Your True Shelf, um, and it's Fawny Hold by Mary Stewart, the beloved modern classic. I love this edition, and it's perfect for the the tone of the book um, of what I've read so far. Anyway, so we're doing like a few chapters a day. It's just really easy read so far, and I sort of immediately just found it kind of quite bewitching um, and it's just so far it's just about um, the main character's childhood um, how she was raised how she's a bit of an outsider um, how she's into fairy tales and it's kind of really nice descriptions of kind of quite pastoral descriptions of the woods and things like that so yeah I'll let you know how it goes but I think I'm really gonna enjoy it and I actually think it's gonna be quite a sort of a quick read um, I've got bets on that Sean's going to make it to Wednesday before she DNFs it because the dreaded word cosy has come up a few times and that's like this kind of thing is Sean's nemesis. What do you reckon, Sean? But I feel like you're just kind of... Setting you up for a fall. Yeah. Maybe I'm fine. I've, um, do you like it so far? It's all right. It's all right. I've carried on... I've done an update. Well, I'll watch that and I'll see. <laughs> Um, I'm also carrying on a little bit with the evenings, um, just pootling through, really enjoying it. I'm loving the, it's almost quite nostalgic reading about boredom because it reminds me of my teens and that, that lots of sitting around and not really knowing what to do with yourself and going to call on friends and then going around and being a bit like, oh God, you know, I kind of, why did I come here kind of 
thinking. And um, he's not eating well either. He just seems to get home and then like he'll dip a bit of bread in some leftover gravy. It's Christmas time, um, but it's not feeling super Christmassy. Um, but I am really enjoying this um, this book. So he's on Boxing Day at the moment. Um, also, um, let's not forget my audio book. I did another couple of hours of it. I've got about four hours to go. So we're well over halfway now of um, The Rest Falls Away. That's the Regency era vampire hunter novel, which I heard described as Buffy meets Jane Austen. Um, so yeah, that, have that in mind, you know. She's now engaged to the Marquis of Rockley. The Marquis of Rockley nearly got attacked by, what well, did get attacked by a vampire, but nearly got bitten by a vampire. Uh, there was a really good scene where like, uh, Maximilian drugs his drink and then they swap drinks. So Maximilian is like falling asleep but having to save the Marquis from being bitten by a vampire. I was quite impressed by that scene. That's pretty good. There's um, there's a I, I'm guessing he's French from the accent that the that the narrator does. There's a, this kind of seedy character. We're not sure is he good? Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? And he keeps uh, he he took off um, Victoria's glove in the last scene and was like caressing her hand and she was having you know feelings. So she is engaged, but she's. I, you know, there's there's lots of other potential um, romances going on. And that is it um, for the day. I'm going to carry on um, reading Forney Hold for a little bit. What are you looking at me, Shan? I was just looking. Oh, okay. Nothing to add. How's my update so far? It's really good. Really good. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I was just thinking I've only got three days left of work. Three days left. I know. We're getting there now. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone seems tired this week. This little lady's tired. Yeah. Even I'm tired. Oh. Yeah. So we'll, we'll power through. Take good care of yourselves, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Um, I'm just doing a little pop in to say that I finished my audio book. Woo. Um, woo. I managed to finish it by my, like, 10 minute drive to and from the yoga studio um, because I hardly had any left and I think the whole book was like two and a half hours or something like that so it was really short um, Did you enjoy it Shani? I did really enjoy it, I do think it was probably I think I've already said this but it was definitely worth audio because it had loads of people speaking so I assume the book is just a collection of quotes but then the audio had, we just had Jane Fonda, Sydney Poitier. Oh, that was good. I like the Sydney yeah. Poitier. Yeah, so there was loads of amazing people. And um, Elizabeth Gilbert, Cheryl Strait appeared in it earlier. Ellen DeGeneres just turned up at the end. There was a few people I wasn't as into. I thought I think Bert accidentally caught a couple of bits where there was a guy kind of shouting and doing kind of quite preachery type. Is that kind of very bits? American kind of uh, salesman pitch? Yeah, kind it of had thing. that slight sort of... Um, um, what do you call it, that confident... Yeah. Conf yeah. Yeah. That motivational speaker. Yeah, that's that, it, yeah. That, that kind of thing. Extrovert. Yeah. <laughs> but I love Oprah, and I really... Um, she was also talking in the last bit about um, books that had made an impression on her, and re reading... Um, uh, what's it called, you know, with with um, Scout, Opperly... To kill a mockingbird. To kill a mockingbird. <laughs> to kill a mockingbird when she was like about ten or something, and about how kind of profound that was. Yeah. Uh, um, and I can't remember what the other book was. Oh, Wizard of Oz was the other one as well. So, um, yeah, I enjoyed it. That's my update. Well, well done, need, Shani. Thank you very much. I need to read a little bit more of Thorny Hill tonight. No. Um, I've just been. Yeah, I went to teach yoga. Um, yeah, that was nice. Just out doing good in the world, aren't you? Oh. Yeah, lovely thing. And then Bert made dinner. Yeah. We didn't share, but it was sweet potato, chickpeas, and a, veg a vegan burger. Was it nice? It was really good. The chickpeas were good, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I did film a bit of the chickpeas, get, actually. Oh, Maybe I'll, I'll stick that in. Got to get uh, the protein in, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Get a bit obsessed about protein with yeah. my, uh, my hair issues. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any other questions for me, Bertie? Um, are you looking forward to tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Tuesday. I've got a few things to do tomorrow. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, I've got through my 
each day I've got in work is quite packed. I also need to try mm. and finish an essay. Yeah. Seems unlikely. Good luck with that. And a risk assessment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then do you want to say goodbye then, Shani? <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>